Uh, thank you, Madam Chair, Chairman Menendez, and Ranking Member Risch. Uh, today, I'm also proud to introduce my friend Natalie Reyes uh, as President Biden's nominee to serve as U.S. Ambassador to the Republic of Croatia. Uh, as you heard from Menendez, I'll try not to be too repetitive, but uh, I do think it's important to underscore and emphasize she is the proud daughter of Venezuelan and Lebanese parents. As an immigrant herself, Ms. Reyes's career has been defined by an unwavering commitment to public service, a drive to diversify the highest levels of leadership in our nation, and a fundamental understanding of the hope and stability America's leadership brings to the world stage. But before it all, Ms. Reyes started off as a student in Los Angeles, where she earned her bachelor's degree in sociology and a master's degree in public policy with concentrations in international relations and education at UCLA. Natalie and I first crossed paths when I served on the Los Angeles City Council, and she served as deputy chief of staff for then Los Angeles Mayor James Hahn. There, she managed the Office of Intergovernmental Relations, International Trade and Protocol, and established, as you just heard, Los Angeles' first ever Office of Immigrant Affairs. Ms. Reyes went on to serve as Vice President of Public Affairs for Grupo Salinas in the United States and as Executive Director of Fundación Azteca América. She currently serves as the president and CEO of the Latino Victory Fund, where she works to increase Latino representation at every level of government. Last year, the Senate confirmed Ms. Reyes to serve as President Biden's appointee to the board of the United States Institute of Peace. At a time with increased conflict around the world, we can assure you somebody uh, who uh, uh, represents, embodies, and advances peace uh, through uh, diplomacy. In an effort to increase Latina representation in the field of international relations, Ms. Reyes founded and now chairs the Hope Binational Advisory Group and created the Binational Fellowship to train 20 Latinas per year in the United States and Mexico. She's not only brought more opportunities to diverse communities, but she's also simultaneously strengthened our foreign policy workforce by bringing new ideas and new perspectives to challenge conventional thought. And America today is stronger for her service. Now, colleagues, since President Biden first took office, so much of the Senate's work to advise and consent to the president's nominees has seen the fundamental shift as we're finally confirming nominees who better reflect the diversity of the country they serve and represent. But that diversity of backgrounds and of thought shouldn't end with judicial nominees or cabinet officials. It must extend to those representing our nation on the world stage. Because how we present ourselves to the world and who we entrust with our nation's image and diplomatic duties abroad matters. I've seen Ms. Reyes' leadership up close from her time with the city of Los Angeles to her work nationally for a more inclusive democracy she has the intellect, the expertise, and the commitment to do the job, not to mention the fundamental understanding of America's potential that will serve us well as U.S. Ambassador to Croatia. I urge my colleagues to join me in supporting her swift confirmation, and I thank you. Thank you, Senator Padilla.